Some of the albums I used to got from my friend Marcy, they're from her uncle's estate. There's quite a few I'll probably keep to listen to. Uh, not these, these are ones I had. Uh, I just stuck them in here in this back of this crate. There was, uh, oh, what was there? There was everything behind not Black Sabbath. There was some Glenn Campbell and uh, Glenn Campbell. Johnny Cash, pretty common one. Ring of Fire. Uh, this train, I don't see it as much. It's clean though. John Travolta, Oak Ridge Boys, uh, Flat but and Flat and Scruggs, uh, Loretta Lynn, Jim Reeves, but it's done songs by Jim Reeves by Slim Boyd. I might listen to that still. The Stats Domino double record set. It's kind of a newer, wasn't very popular. And the rest of the stuff is stuff, stuff, tough is stuff that was already in here. And then there'll be some more when I finally get through it. Copyright claim. Uh. Got another copy of It's My Potty and I'll Cry If I Want To. Washington Square, I've not listened to that. I thought being it's Mondo Kane might be interesting. Then there's the box set of The Spectacular World of Dinah Groove. So I'm going to check that out. Uh, Bobby Rydell. Uh, I like Bobby Rydell. Kiss did their song, his song Kissing Time. I don't think it's on this. Uh, this is sealed, so I was going to check it out. I don't think it's worth anything. Ron Sexton. Never heard of him. Elvis Roust about to listen to that. Got another Gary and, Jerry and the Pacemakers. I have that beat up one. It's pretty cool. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Uh, not the best soundtrack, but Bronco Billy for Clint Eastwood. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. That's a newer thing. That looks like probably the 80s, I'm guessing. It's Bobby Rydell. He's got a weird head. We didn't draw it to make it look any better. I come in peace. Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember I, when I the last time I went through some records, I think they got posted. There was that Andre Preven, 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 uh, and I said that it seemed like his daughter was famous. Well, he did have a bunch of kids. I think some of them are famous, but the uh, one is famous because. Uh, her name's Sue Lynn or something like that, and Woody Allen adopted her, and now he's married to her. That was one of his kids, which I never knew that. He must have, I guess Andre maybe married a Asian woman or something. I don't really know much about it. I just thought that was weird when I Googled it, and I saw the first kid's name, and they were uh, the one that Woody Allen adopted and then married. So there you go. Small world after all. I found this in there too. It's Al Viola. It's the promo copy. A guy on eBay wants like 50 bucks for it. That's not what Discog says it's worth. Uh, looks like it might be interesting. I, it, I kept it out because all the different guitars on the cover. Uh, he actually, uh, when I looked him up, the only thing I found and completed was he did guitar on Julie London's one album. I think that one I just got recently that, uh, I can't think of the name of it. If you watch my videos, you'll remember maybe. I said, oh, and I got a Supremes here, the symphony. I only kept it out. They're not worth much, but it's in good shape. So, I don't know. Maybe I can swap for a $5 record somewhere. Ha! So, yeah, okay, until I get sorted the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm.